Ladies and gentlemen, and of course children and fellow nationals all, as we commemorate and celebrate our 30 years as an independent nation, let us remember also that every day all that we do and all that we fail to do will help to determine the shape and direction of our blessed country for years to come. We all know how well we have done as a nation and a people over this past many years, despite our extremely tiny size. And in this, we should indeed feel a true sense of gratification and gratitude. But at the same time, however, as thinking responsible people, we owe it to ourselves to be constantly asking ourselves exactly what it is that we must do in order to ensure that for the generations to come, Kitishans and Nivisions will be able to continue living in an environment of stability, security, and socioeconomic vibrancy. Achieving this will require us to set a number of specific targets in a number of areas. One of them, of course, and a very important one, at that being the goal of self-mastery in all matters financial. And this must be seen as a non-negotiable priority for us as individuals, as families, as organizations and corporations, and of course, as a nation and a government. This understanding of um, comfort with mastery of Matters financial is important not only to St. Kitts and Nevis, but to the entire world. We cannot, of course, control what happens throughout the world, but we can control what happens here, and we can control what happens in this region. And so I commend the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. I commend them for their decision back in 2002 to dedicate the month of October every year to reminding the people, the institutions, and the governments of this region how very important proper economic and financial management is. And I commend them also for leaving no stone unturned this year in their determination to ensure that each and every person and each and every organization anywhere in the region is reminded throughout the month of October that we must make a conscious effort to understand the world of money. For example, how to create it and how to keep it. The world of debt also, and I say how to use it and when to avoid it. The power of entrepreneurship and the importance of learning to generate revenue flows for oneself legitimately and legally, as opposed to being forever dependent on a job. A job, of course, provided by someone else. And the ECCB is urging everyone along this beautiful chain of island states to sit up and pay attention to a well-developed series of activities that will be taking place during the month of October. As I've said, the central bank has truly left no stone unturned. From corporate CEOs to the boys and girls in primary schools, to those who routinely pour over financial statements, to those who are most comfortable composing music, from our ministers of religion and their congregants, and to teachers and their students, and members of the media, the organizers of this year's Financial Information Month need you. And, as should be clear, by the end of my remarks, the entire region needs them as well. As Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, I am committed to stimulating and facilitating the entrepreneurial instincts of Kittishans and divisions. And so I am particularly pleased to see the strong emphasis that this year's organizers have placed on encouraging small and even micro businesses. Slavery and colonialism, as we know, were, by definition, designed to shut us off from capital and to prevent the establishment of mutually supportive business networks amongst the general populace. 
Knowing this, therefore, we must now all put our best minds together to undo any cultural remnant of those eras that may get in the way of critics and divisions entering the stimulating, fulfilling world of entrepreneurship. And the central bank is going to great lengths to ensure that this is precisely what happens. During the month of October, there will be special training for those who teach the principles and practicalities of business. Students are being asked to come up with innovative business ideas and submit supporting business plans, there being attractive cash prizes for the first, second, and third place winners. I emphasize that good money management skills will be shared with not only our high school students, but our primary school students as well. So with the fundamentals of starting one's own business. Indeed, for our nine to 12 year olds, there will be a financial and business quiz, one specially designed to appeal to this age group. CEOs, chief executive officers, their board directors, entrepreneurships, or entrepreneurs, I should say, and academics will be brought together at central bank headquarters for a region-wide video conferencing session. And there, everyone, everyone will share with their regional counterparts the practicalities of making business thrive and making business grow. There will be a small business training workshop. There will be a media campaign impressing upon the public the importance of everyone. And I stress here everyone understanding economics, finance, and business. Our young people's creativity is being counted on for the composition of this year's theme song, which will then be played on radio stations throughout the region. And here in St. Kitts and Nevis, the public has been invited to participate in a 75 to 100 word essay on the actions they will take to strengthen their own financial situations. There will be presentations to churches and to community groups as well. And key packages and financial advice will be provided to needy families. We will see Financial Information Month shirts being worn every Friday during this month. And the Financial Fitness Walkathon will be held in which every man, every woman and child is invited to attend. I emphasize financial self-mastery. As I said at the beginning, it's key. At the individual, the family, the institutional and the governmental level. And the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is doing everything, everything in its power to make sure that we as a people and the region really do understand this. Let us sit up then. Let us take note and let us make the spirit of financial discipline, hard work and entre entrepreneurship tempered by compassion and decency be the foundation of the nation which together we continue to build. Thank you. God bless you.